it's all right in there. Yeah. It's the moment of truth. Uh, right? Well, we'll just check the bike survived the flight, which it normally is really good in this box, but it's always like the moment of truth. Or is it even my bike inside? Did I pack the right one? She looks kind of good. And you've uh, raced on this course before. I have, yeah. You've raced on both speedways or just one? Uh, I've done Daytona and this one, actually. And I keep getting both races really confused in my mind. Um, and I think, yeah, I did Daytona when it was at night, a bit like this will be. And when I raced Miami, it was in the day, I think, so. And this is the first year in a while that you won't be doing an Ironman? Yeah, I need to get fast. <laughs> so yeah, that's gonna be exciting. And what, uh, what prompted you to make that decision? Um, I just felt like I wanted something new, I think. I mean, I've always been an athlete that likes to try different things. I think my favorite year ever in the sport was 2021, where I did some short course, I did 70.3, and yeah, just really mixed it up. Even did some of the Super League stuff and arena games. So. I've decided to just, yeah, see how fast I can get, which is quite fun. And uh, what is your main target this year to win the T100 series? I mean, that would be amazing. I think, I mean, I haven't even won a PTO race yet, so I'll start with trying to actually win the T100 and then, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I think it's great to have so many opportunities to race and to race the best, um, so hopefully. I might get to win one of those races and then, yeah, as the season progresses, then maybe I'll adjust my goals to trying to win the overall title. In recent news today, uh, Anne pulled out of the race. Does that change anything for you? Um, I mean, it's I'm, I'm quite gutted, to be honest, because I think this was the race where I was like, okay, I'm going to see where I stack up against everyone. And I think Annie was definitely the one where I was most like, okay, I really need to know where I stack up against her and then you kind of know that I'll go away and these are the things I need to work on and training to be better. Now it's like an unknown so I guess hopefully she'll be back and ready for Singapore and yeah we can see how we stack up there but there's still an amazing field. I think there's so many great women out there um, and it's so early in the season so we'll just see how it goes. It's a, bit, uh, it's a bit early. I, I have to slim down. Um, I've gotten, I've gained some weight during off season. Australia, um, Australia was really good to me. So. Ah. And. Then. A bit tired. Yeah. Yeah. Yesterday. I got it late. Oh, that's not true. He's been smashing it. It's been great to follow along. Yeah, I'm stoked you're on the tour, too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Cool, I'm going to grab my uh, waffle, too. Well, no, but like, <laughs> this is the guy she told you not to worry about. <laughs> I think I feel pretty lucky that it's in the US. Pretty easy travel for us. Even though I still feel like I got hit by a bus this morning. <laughs> um, yeah, it'll be fun. For me, it's fun. Like, I didn't do any camps this winter, I just stayed home. So I've just been like home alone, grinding. I mean, I have some training partners, but it's nice to come here and be like, oh yeah, I'm a triathlete. Like, oh yeah, this is what I do, be in the environment, you know? Yeah. It's been a minute. Yeah. Yeah. Walked in the building with a limp. Chain weighing heavy, so I don't care what they think. They tryna see me lose, but I beat them in a the blink. They try to wrap me off, but I'm taking all the ink. You move like you roll those bars in a sink. It made me throw up. Look, it might glow up. I was broke, never saw him, now we show up. Put your hands in the air like it's a whole love. Shorty wanna give me love, nah, hold up. Yeah, your life a trash.
tragedy The way I've been winning the game, I sit on the throne, I feel like your majesty Alright, you can stay Okay, let me take Okay, fine Here we are The new ring Black It's a sign of what's, what the vibe is this year, you know And, you know, the family, Laura and Leo They've gotten me ready to come here to be a gladiator and go to war. So tell us about your journey here. Like, like the Can travel, or yeah. just like my, <laughs> my, my, my journey as a baby <laughs> to get here. The travel was pretty easy. I just hopped on a plane from Tucson. I stopped in uh, Dallas or Houston. I can never remember the, the difference between those. I think it was Houston. And then uh, here, the uh, PTO airport pickup was like clutch. It was practically like picking, getting picked up in a limousine that carried my bags. Psh, all smooth travel here at like 11.15 at night and then a little sleep and now just uh, next morning just kind of trying to, to get organized a bit. You guys, right now things look right, it's in a state of mild chaos because I'm in the middle of, of packing it, unpacking everything and getting organized. I don't think I have uh, any of the sponsors this year, which is good. That's a good sign. When you've got all the sponsors you want, that's a good thing. The last year, you see, it's interesting. Like, I feel like I'm here and there's like the least hype on Sam Long that there's ever been in terms of like, I don't know, pre-race shenanigans I actually think it's a great thing because um, I think like you know I look at my media commitments this week and it's like nope no press conference none of this stuff like it's my lightest media commitments I've ever had with the PTO which um, is great with me and I, I don't know if it's a sign that like I think maybe I also just don't pay attention to the hype so much anymore and I'm more focused on myself and I think that sums up like how my journey has also gone since 2023. Like I've just become more inward. I've become more focused on my own process. I'm continuing to coach myself and fine tune that and really just doing things for my family. And so it's less about like trying to impress whoever it is out there in the world and more about trying to do what fulfills me and my family. Yeah, yeah I just wasted so much energy in the past trying to, I don't know, <laughs> pre-race bullshit. And now I'm like, I just wanna be up there at the finish line, that's that's what's important. That's where you go like, Psh. okay, play Collins Cup from 2022. That's pre-race bullshit right there. I'm generally <laughs> pissed off and I'm not normally pissed off in the sport of triathlon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want any of that. <laughs> what's the game plan? The game plan, I'm trying to decide how much to say, you know, like, my race plan is to go hard from start to finish. How's the swim going on? Well, I think the swim's going great. You guys can tune in. I'm putting a, uh, let's see here. I am currently uploading a video. It is at 57% uploaded. I did a swim race this, today's Tuesday. I did a swim race two days ago, a, a one mile swim race in the pool. And uh, I'm very proud with it. I think I'm making progress and so, I think the swims, let me put it this way, I think the swims exactly where it needs to be in order for me to be competitive. It's funny you guys have to do this oh. oh, that didn't sound good. You can see it's all trapped on the side. It's gonna be fine, but you know. Yeah, I'll call the guy. It's that. We go to the circle. Figure it out. How does it feel back? You're the uh, current reigning Miami champion right now. Damn. Uh, yeah. See, so you've raced here before. Yeah, twice. I think I was second and first. It's good. It's always treated me well. <laughs> Do you, so, uh, do you have any advice for your competitors on the course? Are you going to hold it in? 
Uh, it's not hot at all, so just race flat out. Don't pace yourself. Just go for it. <laughs> How does it feel uh, that, the, that the T100 series is finally official and getting underway and it's the first race of the year? How does it feel to be here? It's just, uh, it's exciting. It's kind of like, it could be the beginning of a new era. So, just kind of like being a part of the beginning of it is pretty cool. Um, and hopefully, uh, hopefully doing quite well, but we'll see. All right. All right, we'll see you out there. I thought it was going to be hotter. Yeah. This is cool. It was hot this morning. Yeah? Yeah. Well, hope maybe everybody else thinks it's hot. What's the race plan? I suppose that's not really an element that you see in triathlon no, exactly, much. Yeah. yeah, you'll be able to see like someone 30 seconds ahead and then like, whether you're catching on or not. We've got to the speedway and then there's like a like a little route down there that's I think traffic wise not too busy. And yeah. It could be nice. Hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully we'll get too muddy. Yeah.
Do you think the French are that good? What does Matisse think about it? Huh? Yeah. Seven guys, seven French guys. Are you number one? Number one French? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> Who's number two? Who's your pick? Who's, if you have to pick five French guys to race the series next year? To race the... Uh... Yeah, PTO races. Because mm. Talbot uh, thinks it's going to be seven. Oh, the same... Uh, Sam, Clément, me, uh, Leon, and two more. Seven? Yeah. Leo? No, what about Leo? Yeah, what about Vince? Ah, uh, yeah, I don't, uh, I don't think... Uh, about short, uh, short race guy. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, they got nothing Leo, anyway. Yeah, Leo, Vincent, and Dorian. Dorian Connings. No, he's really strong. He's your he's teammate. So strong. Yeah. Yeah, but we raced him in French in Villabucu. Yeah, but uh, in <laughs> <laughs> DNF. Yeah. DNF in Villabucu. <laughs> it's because of this guy. His legs. <laughs> we put about how many minutes we put into him? Seven minutes. Eight minutes. On the bike. On the bike. Yeah. It was so hard. So hard in Villabucu. <laughs> well, you made it hard. Yeah. yeah, the first hour on the bike, yes. and then Alistair, the second hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Seven French, you could even have ten, I reckon. Out of twenty, crazy. Similar to the British women, I think you could have about ten, ten British women. Nuts. What do they feed you guys in France? Hmm? What do they feed you guys in France? Sorry. <laughs> Escargot? What? what do they feed you in France? Ah, to, to push hard on the bike. <laughs> Faster. Faster. Further <laughs> down. Oh, really? A little bit, yeah. Are you trying to flex for everyone, Matisse? Yeah. <laughs> Why do you think he's doing push-ups? He's trying to uh, intimidate me. Look at him. I will do push up just before the race. <laughs> yeah, yeah. away from the germs? What did you have to do to get signed by Red Bull? I'll say that okay. <laughs> uh, you have to uh, win races, I guess. Excited? <laughs> hey. Gonna be a good season. David never gets his room. So this isn't a new bike then? No, this is my, my normal, uh, my last year's one. But then Canyon will come in with a new one for my like, custom paint job on it. Oh, so it's going to be the first at the unveiling at the yeah, race? Yeah. Well, we're going to do like a core reel and stuff where, yeah, we got some, my deal. We're going to do like, ah, uh, I won't take it, I'll spoil it. Hello.
just popped. Is it pretty? Yeah. <laughs> it's humid. Yeah. Very much. <laughs> like Tulsa and Des Moines. Yeah, Des Moines. yeah. good all right recently announced your retirement uh is that a burden off you or how are you feeling um yeah i think it was a bit of a relief to announce it i uh was not an it was not an easy decision and i mean i still kind of feel good and i still love it so i was a bit um yeah you never know like when the right time is but i felt like it's just been like a really amazing journey and I want to it's really be a big goal to finish strong so um, I decided this year is it's a great opportunity it's really um, I mean an interesting time in triathlon and to be part of this tour is it's gonna be really tough but um, yeah um, it was actually what made me go another year to really um, push hard for uh, the, the world tour it really excites me so it's two big goals I want to focus on this year and um, and then I think yeah I think I've reached what I I mean I reached more than I ever wanted so um, I'm also excited for to do some other projects and take it a bit more easy uh, we I've interviewed you in the past and you've talked to me about painting a picture of your career where do you see the t100 series do you see it finalizing that picture um, yeah I think every every year is kind of a picture or every almost every race is like a maybe i could see as the races are the pictures and the year is the collage and over the years you build a huge um kind of exhibition and um yeah i definitely hope to create another great collage this year um i'm super motivated i kind of still feel quite good um i'll see how how we go on the weekend but i uh, had a good winter and so I'm, I'm still really keen to go out and push hard and it's yeah what I really love doing and I hope I'll have, it would be a dream to at least have one really good race this year, um, hopefully more, but um, to have a, a win at the T100, it's um, something I haven't achieved yet or at the PTO races um, and yeah, it would definitely mean a lot if I could reach that.